Hello. I hope you're doing well. Um, yeah. I had a pretty good day today. And I just want to talk about how Moses led the people. Well, God led the people. God led Moses. Led the people through the Red Sea. And how terrifying that must have been for the Israelites. I'm going to talk a little bit about that. Um, I'm reading a book right now. I just finished it. But it's basically the history of Moses. And like, you know, Pharaoh and the plagues. And then the Hebrews and Egyptians. Which is the Israelites. From my understanding. Um, walking through the wilderness. Following Moses. Um, through reading the book, I learned the fact that, like, the Hebrews followed God, Yahweh, as they called him, and the Egyptians, who were also slaves, but Hebrews were more so the slaves, but the Egyptians, um, followed idols, they followed false gods, they believed in, like, our day and age of, like, Buddha, or manifestation, or um, astrology. They believed in their own idols. Um, and so for them choosing to go with Hebrews um, to save themselves from the destruction of Egypt, they followed Moses and everyone else into the wilderness. And that must have been terrifying for them. If you really think about it, I mean, you read all in Exodus how grumbling and complacent they were. But it, it makes sense. I mean, reading it, I'm kind of just like, why aren't they just trusting God? Hello. When I look at my daily life, it's like, how complacent am I every day? You know? How many times am I blessed but don't count it? Like, how many... There's so many times that I mess up, just like they have. Um... And when we read about the story of Moses parting, God parting, but, you know, Moses had a staff parting the Red Sea for the Israelites to walk through because Pharaoh's army was, you know, advancing against them and they had to go through the wilderness. Anyways, they had to go through this huge sea because there was nowhere else to go. They were trapped. Pharaoh's army was here. God was, you know, putting a cloud there to protect the Israelites from Pharaoh's army. But then God told Moses, strike the Red Sea, and he'll part it. So he did. It was literally like a sea, and then parted. So, and Moses led the Israelites, and they walked through the Red Sea. And then while they were walking through it, God was like, oh, okay, Pharaoh, you can go pursue after them. I'm going to get the glory from this. So, God knew that. Moses knew that. But through the Israelites' eyes, how terrifying would that be? To literally be walking on dry ground through huge two pillared walls. You're in the middle. Two walls of just water being held up by God's grace and power and mercy. Um, walking through that. And then you look behind you and there's this massive, vicious, aggressive, quarrelsome army racing towards you. How terrifying would that be? Like, horribly terrifying. So, you know, you're trusting in Moses, God, that you don't even know of. Some of them knew God, but anyways, you're trusting in God. And they had to take a step out in faith to walk through that Red Sea. So they did. They took a step in faith. They followed God, followed Moses through that. And then once everyone from Israel, Israelites, were fully on dry ground across the Red Sea, God made the sea go back to normal and drowned Pharaoh's army. There was no more to be found. So then after that, the Israelites like, oh my goodness, praise God, that was awesome. Wow, God, you're so good. You took, you just freed us from Pharaoh's army. You protected us. You parted the sea. You're incredible. And it was only after the fact, after they stepped out in faith, that they saw God's glory. And God didn't reveal his glory until they stepped out in faith and you know went on the other side of fear 
I think that's something that's really interesting to look at now because that's kind of in our daily life at least like you know it is like if there's something you're afraid of there's something you feel God's calling you to do sometimes he's just calling us to step out in faith and you won't really see the full picture until you step out and trust God and then you're gonna you know see his glory through that and I just think there's a lot of fear in this world and even with myself fear of just like what do you want me to do Lord but just fear and there doesn't have to be fear because God's always watching us and he's got our life in his hands and he's the same God who part of the sea as he is right now helping you with homework or a relationship or friendships or life when you're following his will for your life just like Moses is following God's will for his life. It's the same God and he can work miracles just like he did for the Israelites through the wilderness and he can use you just like he used Moses. He's the same God, it's the same faith, and yeah, same trust we gotta have in God, and He can use you, and He's got you, and we just have to trust Him, He has got us. I know the situation you're in may not look like anything you want it to look like, you may be very fearful, and you may be uncomfortable, but I just encourage you, walk through that Red Sea, continue to walk through it. Because of God's timing, you're going to look behind you and you're going to realize all your problems are gone. All your worries that you had, they're going to be gone. They're going to be washed away by the water of the sea. They're going to be gone. And you're going to be like, wow, God, you're so good. I was worried for nothing. Look at how you've got me. Look at how you brought me through that part of my life. You're incredible. Because God's just that good, and sometimes He's just asking you to be willing to just get a little bit uncomfortable and walk in His will for your life and trust Him, even in times of fear. Just trust Him, because He's got you no matter what. Yeah, He loves you. He has your best interest, and I just encourage you to step out in faith. Just like the Israelites did, they went through their Red Sea. As I'm assuming terrifying as it was, looking back, Pharaoh's army, holy moly, terrifying. Past the Red Sea, look behind them, wow. God saved them, army's gone. They took that step in faith, they saw God's glory. When in the midst of fear, in the midst of discomfort, God's glory was revealed. He can use any situation, anytime, anything, anywhere, anyone. He can absolutely use you. He's not done with you yet. If he led you to it, no. If he led you to it, he'll lead you through it and get you out of it. In his timing, he has plans to prosper you, not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. And all he's asking for is your faith and trust in him. That's all it is. Step by step, he's got you all the way. God loves you. And God bless.